Hi and welcome to my tutorial on Visual Basic on how to use the trackbar control. I'm creating a new Windows form application. I'm going to go ahead and put in the trackbar control and then six labels, two at the top, three at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and change the text of these labels. Change the bottom ones to be one, five, and ten. These will represent the value of the trackbar control. It starts at zero, so just keep that in mind. Um, label one will say um, amount of yarn. So this application um, will be asking the user to enter the amount of yarn they want. And then label two will represent the value of the trackbar control. Let's go ahead and change the one matter to that, change the board color to white, uh, border style 3D, and then go ahead and make the back color a little darker. Now the properties, here, let's go ahead and run this. The properties we'll be interested in are uh, the small change and the large change properties. The small change properties are uh, the smallest increment by which the slider value can change, and that's adjusted by uh, actually clicking on a slider bar and scrolling it and the large change um, property is changed by clicking to the left or the right of uh, the slider bar. As you can see right now it's jumping from 1 to 5, 5 to 10 so increments of 5. Now let's go ahead and uh, change that. So let's click on uh, the track bar and set its properties. Um, this application let's say will want the user to enter the amount of yarn they want uh, of a distance between 0 and 10, inch, 10 inches in increments of 0.2 inches. So uh, we'll set the minimum to 0, the maximum to 50. So minimum 0, maximum 50. Uh, the small change will we'll want 1. Where is the small change? Small change we want 1. Large change, we want 5. And the tick frequency, we want 5. So, uh, the tick frequency is basically how many visible uh, marks you have. As uh, our maximum is set to 50, if we set the tick frequency to all of them, it's going to show all 50. Uh, frequency marks and that just does not look good on a form and it's often confusing and hard to read so we're going to set our tick frequency to 5 make it a little easier to read to understand uh, so now let's go ahead and click on uh, the event of this we're going to use the value change so make sure your track bar is selected click on this lightning bolt go to value uh, change double click on that and now go ahead and uh, Enter label to that text equals quotation mark link and link and inches equals end quotes and format track bar control one that value divided by five comma quote number dot zero zero in the quote let's go ahead and run this and our label uh, label two should change so amount of yarn as you can see it changes as we uh, use the small property and let's go ahead and use the large property as you remember last time it changed from one to five in increments of five so let's go ahead and do that now and it changes in increments of one, as you can see. All right. So now, first, let me line these up a little better. All right. Now we can also use our labels right here. We can use their uh, control, their common handler, to change the value of the track bar. So go ahead and double click on your. Uh, first one right here, we'll just enter 
trackbar trackbar one dot value equals C I N T quote C type quote sender comma label end quote dot text end quote times five. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Go to your other label. Paste in what you just copied. Go to your other label. Paste in what you just copied. And what this is doing, it's using uh, the C type function. Uh, converts its argument, which is an object variable, and uh, it represents the labels on the form. Uh, so it's converting the label's text to an integer value. Uh, so, you know, the 1, the 5, the 10, by calling the CINT uh, function. Uh, the CINT function is a Visual Basic function. Um, it, it's equivalent to the method of uh, the system that convert that to int32. Um, and this will never fail as uh, all our numbers, or all, all of our uh, label text is integer values. So this will always work for uh, this application. All right, now let's go ahead and run that again. Let's click on our 5, 10, and our 1. All right, thank you for watching this tutorial. Please feel free to message me if you have any questions.